Sources have told India today that Khalistani and gangster elements based in other countries were funding overground workers in India through Hawala channels for drugs and weapons. Meanwhile, NIS chart sheet has revealed how Khalistani terrorist Ashtala runs an extortion gang and supplies arms and drugs from Pakistan through drones. The NIA chart sheet also reveals how Khalistanis are targeting Punjabi music and film industry and are demanding extortion money from producers and directors. My colleague Gaurav Savant is now joining me over the phone line right now. It's a massive Khalistani gangster nexus, Gaurav, that the NIA is probing at the moment. Follow me, you're absolutely right. Even as we speak, there are raids that are currently underway at 51 different locations in six different states. In Punjab itself, raids are being carried out in 30 different locations. Uh, one person, Sundar alias Jora, has just been taken into custody uh, and he's being interrogated. Some of these uh, are part of a massive extortion racket. Um, instructions come from Canada. Uh, and these are these are extortionists and gangsters who belong to different terrorist uh, slash extortionist or gangsters uh, groups. And uh, in the name of Khalistan terror, they carry out extortion racket. Uh, and if you join the dots, uh, as currently the National Investigation Agency and Punjab Police are doing, uh, the killing of uh, Sidhu Musewala, uh, some other incidents that have taken place, uh, the links with the Bambiha gang, the links with Arsh Dalla, all of that are currently being, being the dots are being joined, and their India handlers or their, their uh, you know, people in India are now being taken into custody so that the wider nexus can perhaps be broken uh, with, with evidence that uh, NIA is now trying to gather. So follow me, uh, this is drug money that comes through drones, uh, drugs that come from Pakistan. These people peddle those drugs, weapons come from Pakistan. That's how they carry out uh, uh, this, their entire extortion racket in the name of Khalistan. And when there is trouble, they run off to Canada and carry out the same task. It's a, it's a very well-oiled network and the aim is to break it down completely. Okay. Gaurav, they're bringing us uh, details of uh, those NIA raids uh, that are being conducted at various uh, locations. What more can you tell us about the chart sheet so far, uh, Gaurav, as far as this case is concerned? Okay, we'll try and reconnect with my colleague, uh, in fact, uh, Gaurav Savant, who was telling us about those raids that are being conducted at 50 different locations by the National Investigation Agency, which is trying to crack down on this massive Khalistan gangster nexus uh, also an extortion gang which has been threatening the Punjabi music and film industry as well. That is at the center of uh, this investigation. Ashtala, a Khalistan terrorist, is also under the scanner. They've been targeting the Punjabi film and music industry. My colleague Kamaljeet Sandhu is now joining us live from Chandigarh. Kamaljeet, what more can you tell us about these raids that are being conducted by the National Investigation Agency and what exactly is the target? See, massive and simultaneous raids are being carried out at 51 locations in six states. What we can tell you is the masterminds are abroad. Some of them are in Canada. Uh, but what is important is the foot soldiers are very much here. They are the ones who are identifying victims, whether it is from film industry, whether it's singers, whether it is sarpanches, whether it is ordinary people. And these are the ones who actually identify these particular people and also track down the family members. The modus operandi is simple. Uh, they take out the photographs, then they said they are under threat. Uh, they're asked to pay up heavy amounts as part of the extortion deal. What we know is that the money is now sent back through Hawala channels. Where is uh, the weapon coming in, they're coming in via the drone. So there is a direct ISI connect as well because we know consistently uh, the drones are being sent over. Bhagwant Man even raised this issue with Amit Shah just about yesterday in the North Zonal Council uh, saying that they should be effective anti-drone as well. Uh, meanwhile, what we see is a massive crackdown on pro-Khalistan elements. We've seen that as far as the Gurpur Bhatwan Singh Pannu's uh, ancestral property is concerned, be it in Chandigarh or be his agricultural land in uh, 
uh, Khan court in Amritsar. And we also know that Hardeep Singh Nijjar, who was assassinated in Canada, is also under scanner. His own property may be confiscated in the next few days. Uh, but what is significant is that this has been going on for too long now. In 2016, these very elements were also behind killing of several of the Hindu and Sikh leaders. Later on, the NIA charge sheet identified not only the role, but the way this has been going on for too long, uh, whether it is about arranging logistics, not within India, but also now spreading out to several states, uh, Haryana, Delhi, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, some of the weapons are also coming in, uh, which is from Madhya Pradesh. Then there are weapons coming in from Pakistan via the drones. So this is now very, very well entrenched system. There could be people who've been part of this. And this is where we've seen whether it is about uh, making fa a fake passport, whether it is about seeking okay. asylum in uh, places like Canada. Now, these are gangsters who actually go and say that they are persecuted in India. And meanwhile, what they're doing is getting a free hand to operate and run gang networks, right, sitting from abroad. And this is where the main concern is. Meanwhile, okay. NI has taken a big task of actually going ahead and, and uh, cracking down on these particular terror associates, gangster associates, drug okay. peddlers. And this is the one of the first links that they have. And in the past few years, we've seen the sort of crackdown taking place. And this is only intensifying now. All right.